Hi everyone, Bernard here. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And welcome to the film and TV channel. And we have a movie review today that's still showing at the UK cinema as I'm recording this on the 21st of May 2021. Action thriller. We're going to look at a film called Those Who Wish Me Dead. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button. If you enjoy what I do, please push that notification button. I try and give you information on these things, other people's views, my own little views as well. So I sort of bring them all together for one, one little review on a film to hopefully give you as much information as we can. Well, certainly a film in this case anyway. But if you do check the list, there's obviously film reviews, TV drama reviews, uh, information vlogs on what's out to buy, what's on at the cinema, etc. So if you enjoy that, please push that notification button. And you'll also see some stuff on my football team, the Champions of England 2021 season, Manchester City. So if that's of any interest to you or someone you might know, please point me in my direction. I do loads of little things, uh, quizzes, uh, uh, past and present vlogs, history stuff, uh, book clubs, you name it. I do it on City. So please point someone in my direction. If you know anyone who might be interested or if you're not interested yourself, don't worry about it because this is film and TV today or a film in particular that we're going to look at and if you follow or friend me on Facebook and Twitter some links on the screen there I do check and follow and friend everyone back after about every two or three days something like that so please I'll post, post loads of film and TV stuff on those uh, Twitter and Facebook as well. Uh, comments, yeah, all comments welcome. If you've seen this, if you went to the pictures to watch this, one of the first pictures back at the reopening in the UK, so one of the first ones. Uh, so if any, any comments you've got to make on this film or anything to do with film and TV, it doesn't have to be this film. And please, if you haven't got time for a comment, just give us a little thumbs up. I'm trying to get to 10 little... Oh, it's not much, is it? Just 10. If you can do it now, just give it... I'm trying to get to 10 little thumbs ups on these film things. I'd, I do get a little bit more from my football vlogs, but uh, please, if you can help with that, out with that, I'd be very grateful. Right, yeah, Those Who Wish Me Dead, 100 minutes, an action thriller drama. Classed as, uh, yeah, a neo-Western, they call these things now. A neo-Western action thriller. Directed, of course, by Taylor Sheridan. Uh, with a screenplay by Michael Corita and Charles Leavitt and Sheridan himself. Based on Corita's novel of the same name. Uh, the film's about a, a boy called Finn... Uh, a boy played by Finn Little who witnesses the murder of his father and sort of goes on the run with a, a smoke jumper. Yeah, played by the wonderful Angelina Joel. It's nice to see her back in the Montana wilderness to escape a pair of assassins played by Nicholas Holt and Aidan Gillen hired to silence him. John Burnfall, Medina Senghor and Jake Webber also star in this. So what's it doing? Well, that's at the 20th of May, 2021, 4pm. These are the relevant scores from the various sources. I had a look at Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes is getting a 62% positivity rating based on 153 critics' reviews. Uh, so that's okay, but an average rating of 5.6 out of 10. So it's a little bit below that magical 6 I like to see with these uh, films. 6 I class as a sort of watchable rating. So that's 95 fresh reviews, which is okay, but there's 58 rotten. So there's quite a, quite a sprinkling of rotten reviews as well. The science critical consensus reads a squarely traditional 90s style action thriller. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Those Who Wish Me Dead is elevated by Taylor Sheridan's propulsive direction. Uh, audience, yeah, audience disagree a little bit on certainly on Rotten Tomatoes. Anyway, they give it an 84% positivity rating, so that's not too bad. Metacritic, the other critic site we look at, got 37 critics' reviews. And calculated an average of 58 out of 100 so again just 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 below that six out of ten that i like to see and those uh that, that's broken down into 19 positive reviews 15 mixed and three negative reviews the interesting one joe public internet movie database you me uh, the general guy on the street over thirteen thousand scores and reviews left as i'm recording this and it's averaging, yep, yeah, 6 out of 10. So just, just spot on the 6 out of 10 that I like to see with the film. And of that 13,051 scores and reviews, 8,989 rated it 6 or higher. So that's almost 70%. That's 69% rated it uh, 6 out of 10 or above. So that'll do for me. That, that's pretty good. But obviously that's the scores, isn't it? What about when I get to watch it? Because obviously I do see the scores before I watch these things. And I thought, oh, that's 
that looks okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a simple by the numbers action thrill, as someone said about the 90s before. There's nothing wrong with a good old fashioned uh, action thrill where you know, there's no time shifts and uh, back in time and flashbacks and stuff like that. You know, goes from A to Z. There's nothing wrong with that. There's an increasing body count, if you like, plenty of bodies. Uh, innocent civilians obviously being hunted down by nasty men and nasty assassins. And even raging forest fires thrown in as well, which uh, was quite good. I mean, within the constraints of perhaps not the biggest budget in the world, I thought it was all right. Uh, and there's a bit of criticism, as I said, you saw there with the with the Rotten Tomatoes, etc. I'm not too 100% sure about the criticism. And, he, and even some of the public, if you look at Internet Movie Database, that sort of got a real downer on this and i think it's such a shame because it's just just simple entertainment for me uh, i think there's a lot of reviewers and perhaps even members of the public now who just think, want something a little bit a little bit you know uh highbrow every time a little bit different but uh, this is say this is just literally by the numbers and i uh, you just just sit turn your brain off and enjoy the ride for me um well mostly anyway that's uh say there certainly wasn't many wasn't much time to get bored with this it sort of packed a lot into the to the time it was on the screen uh, there's some okay acting, there's some really good acting, especially from newcomers. Finn Little does a pretty good job. He bit hit and miss, but he sort of hits the mark sometimes, Finn Little. But uh, as I say, they don't usually film uh, these things in sequence, do they? So you do sort of get to, as a, as a little lad perhaps got more confident, he probably improved. But obviously it's, it's how the film's shot, whether it looks as always improved or not. But uh, yeah, it does, a, it does a reasonable job. And uh, Medina Sengo makes a very, very good, does a very good job as well. I've not seen her in much of her at all, so I think she's a fairly newcomer to this. And of course, they're ably assisted by the old stages. And of course, I can't really not mention Angelina Jolie. Can I? I mean, she's uh, looking pretty well, and she does. Uh, it's nice to see her doing some action type stuff as well. I mean, uh, obviously, Tomb Raider films with with uh, with that young lady. You know, some of my favorite favorite action films back in the day. Of course, there's far-fetched silliness in this. It's it's not a film where you have to think too hard. As I said, you can just turn your brain off and enjoy it. But just just go along with it for what it is. Uh, don't expect any fancy bells or whistles or any, anything straight. You know, as I said, don't expect time shifts and flashbacks and deep deep conversations in this. It just just as it is. No, it's just an action thriller. Uh, it's sim simple simple ploy. We've seen it all before. A, a young lad who needs protecting from some nasty men, uh, and perhaps not. A civilian in this case she's a smoke jumper but a type of civilian gets mixed up trying, trying to protect this this young man as it goes along but uh yes to say if you don't expect anything too fancy or too complicated i don't think you'll be disappointed with this my rating well yeah i'm going to give it not just a watchable i'm going to give it a very watchable as i said because i really enjoyed this it's a it was one of those films that the first half hour was really really very you know i watched i had to watch it i had to break off from watching it but i was really i watched half an hour i thought oh, i can't wait to watch the rest of that and i'm not saying the the last third of the film was perhaps as good as the beginning or the setup if you like but uh yeah it's still, certainly a, a good good wholesome action thriller uh, and if it's go if, if it takes you back to the 90s why not there's nothing wrong with that a lot a lot of us remember the 90s very fondly but they are the 80s and the 70s and the 60s uh, but uh, <laughs> showing my age there so i'm going to give it a very watchable rating of 6.5 out of 10 so over that magical 6 out of 10 mark anyway if you get to watch this please let me know if you have watched it at the cinema and what you thought it is one of those things that perhaps if you've gone to the cinema you paid 10 15 quid or 15 dollars or whatever we pay for this you may be a little bit disappointed but i still think there's enough in there to uh, to warrant that sort of payment it's, it's probably a little bit better uh sat at home on a big screen sort of film rather than a, a big action movie at the cinema but hey we've been a bit shorter than lately here in the uk so uh, uh it can't be too bad can it anyway thanks for watching today what we're going to do this day have a great one look after yourselves look after your friends look after your families more importantly let's all look after each other so we meet here again on the film and tv channel or you have a flit across have a look at my citizen channel my football channel whatever it is all i ever ask you to do is please stay safe everyone thanks for watching bye for now